Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to generate um, unique IDs and there are a couple of ways that we can do this. Um, firstly using the unique ID function which is basically dedicated to creating um, unique strings. Okay, so we can do that. Um, and we can also use MD5 as well to generate um, more random strings. Okay, so to use the unique ID function, you basically just type, um, and I'm going to use an echo statement to display the results. So I'll say echo, and basically the function is this unique ID spelt that way. So U N I Q I D, bracket, bracket, save that, go and refresh, and there we go. We have a unique string um, generated using the unique ID function. So if I refresh this, every time it will come up with a new um, unique ID, but as I keep refreshing it, you'll notice that the first few characters are the same. Okay, so every time I refresh, the first few characters are the same and they're not changing. Um, and that's because uh, when their IDs are generated at similar times, you'll get a, um, the first few characters will be similar because the ID is relative to server time. So you'll notice the first few characters are similar. That's basically because the ID is relative to server time. So it's not random, nor is it unpredictable, which means that the unique ID function should not be used for security purposes. Um, you're better off using a secure hash function instead for that. Um, but if you just need to generate a unique ID for something simple and not for security, then it's quite a good dedicated function for that. Okay, just going back to the code, what we can do this time is I'll just uh, echo just a line break here so we can have a new, a new line for the next result. And what we'll do this time is say echo unique ID and inside the brackets we'll put in quotes, um, a prefix. So you can put a prefix in here which will increase entropy. So it will make it um, a little bit longer basically. So what we could do is just say ID. And so the letters ID will be at the beginning of the unique ID. So you can save that and refresh. And now in a new line we have another ID, um, but it begins with the actual letters ID. Okay, and again, you'll notice that um, most of the first few characters are the same here because these unique IDs were generated at a very similar time. So when I clicked on refresh, they were both um, generated. One was generated on one line and then another line later in the code, this one was generated. So it's actually only the last two characters that are different here. Um, but we have increased entropy by also placing ID at the front here. So if I refresh again, you can see like there's only a couple of characters um, difference there at the end, but this is now a couple of characters longer. And you can use whatever string you like um, as a prefix. Okay, um, now what we'll do, we'll just have another break here. And this time what we'll do is we'll use unique ID function again, and we can say ID again, but we're also going to um, use the second parameter. So what we can do is say true, and this will actually increase entropy by increasing the length of the string. So now if I just end that line with a semicolon, save and then refresh. Now you can see that this is even longer. So both of these, these last two strings here were generated at a very similar time. And you can see there's only actually one character difference there. Um, but we also have more in the end here. So um, it's much more unique now that it's longer. So the difference is if you put, if you either leave um, this empty, so you don't put in the second parameter, or you change it to false, you'll end up with uh, 13 characters, plus I also have the prefix here. But I have 13 characters here. But by changing that to true, we now have 
23 characters there after the prefix. Okay, so that's how to use a unique ID function. Just remember, it's not random, it's not unpredictable, um, it's based on server time, um, so it is predictable, and it shouldn't be used for secure security purposes. Okay, um, what I'll show you now is I'll make another line break here, just to put everything on a new line, and I'm going to show you how to use the MD5 um, function to generate a, um, a longer random string. Okay, so it is longer, meaning that more space is required, um, but you might want to use this instead of unique ID, um, as unique ID is predictable and it's not random. Okay, so what we can say is echo MD5 and then in brackets time bracket close bracket dot MT underscore rand and then we can say something like 1 to 100 uh, we'll do add six zeros there. Okay, so 1 million all right, um, let's check that. Yep. All right, then we can end that with a semicolon. Save and refresh. And now we have another ID down here, but this time we're using a MD5 hash instead. So we're using the MD5 function. Okay, and that's actually random. So um, it's not predictable like the um, unique ID function is. All right, and you can see that it's longer as well. So that's basically how to use unique ID and how to use the MD5 function to generate um, unique strings. Thanks for watching.